Hey guys, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope that you have been doing absolutely fine in your respective lives and uh, your preparation for USMLE or NEET PG is going really great. So in this video, I'll be talking about two points. First of all, I'll be giving you a life update regarding uh, what's going on in my life. And uh, the second part of this video will be dedicated to the IMGs, specifically those who have graduated from their med schools and now they are planning to take the USMLE exams and go for a residency in the States. So regarding the life update and uh, my USMLE journey, so last time when I met or when I posted a video specifically regarding my USMLE journey, I was like, I, I told you guys like, okay, I am taking the exam and it is like 12 weeks uh, to my exam. But uh, you know, life is like unpredictable. You make plans, but God has other plans and you have to act according to those, you know. So what did, what happened uh, was that um, I felt like that uh, I need more time for my step to seek it. it. It is not like I can compromise on score. So, uh, so, so there were two things in mind that I have to apply this year. And then there was another thing that I cannot compromise on score. So uh, what I chose was like, let's, let's give my mind some more mental peace. Let's take more time for my step to CK and apply the next year. So, so, so in a, in a short that, that is what happened in that span of time. And, uh, now, uh, since I had time and uh, I had time to my step to CK and I will be applying the next year. So I, I joined a job and uh, I'm working as a junior doctor as of now and uh, I'm really enjoying that thing and obviously you know quite satisfied with my decision but this is secondary thing let's come to the primary thing the prime focus of this video so guys this video I am making for the IMGs those who have completed their med school and now they are starting their USMLE journey so guys uh, by this time you know that uh, the USMLE thing it consists of USMLE step 1 you know what is USMLE step 1 what is all in the USMLE step 1 you know the second exam is you have to take is USMLE step 2 then you know you have to take OAT exam and uh, for that ECFMG clinical skill pathway you know all these things but the purpose of this video is to make you aware of the timeline like what your timeline should be uh, like how should you plan your journey as a graduate and uh, what is the appropriate time that you should be giving to each exam so that you are able to apply the uh, by the latest I would say by the latest because once you graduate then there is a ticking clock that is a year of graduation the, the you know the longer the gap from your graduation the lower the chances be so you know you have to keep those things in mind and also you have to make sure that your preparation is up to the mark because you cannot compromise on score and neither you can fail the exam it is a huge red flag so guys, uh, let's assume that, uh, you know, let, let's assume me as a person, okay? So let's assume that I am an IMG who has graduated like three, four months back or a year back. And now I am thinking that I should go for the USMLE residency, USMLE thing. So guys, the first thing that I will do as a graduate is to take the USMLE step one, okay? And what I would think is that, okay, Speedy, I have to take the step one in a, in a minimum time period and I have to ensure that I pass. Okay. So two things, minimum time period. And second, that I have to make sure that I pass the exam. So uh, what I would say is the ideal period is like six months. Okay. Six months is, 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 is good amount of time for taking the step one because you are a graduate you have the basic medical knowledge now just you need to know is the knowledge which is specific to that exam so you you have to you have to just uh, just like polish your mind according to the exam and for that six months is a good time period now you will ask me okay speedy tell me the resources like tell me the specific resources so I would say the specific resources for your USMLE step one are number one, BNP, Boards and Beyond, and number two, First Aid, and number three, you will. Now, you would, you, you would say, okay, okay, I know the resources, uh, BNP, you will, and uh, First Aid. 
आर यू फॉर गेटिंग पैथोमा नो आई नो पैथोमा बट दैट इज ओनली चैप्टर वन टू चैप्टर थ्री एंड हिमैड इफ यू आर वीक एट द हिमैड बट फॉर गॉड सिक्स डोंट रीड द होल ऑफ पैथोमा इट इट इज इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी बिकॉज स्टेप वन इज पास फेल नाउ ओके यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ द टाइम एंड यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ अदर थिंग्स दैट आर कमिंग इन यूर वे ओके सो कीप द रिसोर्स इज लिमिटेड नाउ यू यू वुड आस्क मी स्पीड जस्ट क्विकली टेल मी द स्ट्रैटी ओके आई वुड से यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद बी एंड बी यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद लेट्स ए सिस्टम ओके कार्डियोलॉजी बी एंड बी यू हैव डन नाउ यू जम्प टू द फर्स्ट एड यू रीड फर्स्ट एड यू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन यूर वन सिस्टम इज डन सो इट विल टेक लाइक अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन एंड हाफ वीक कार्डियोलॉजी वन एंड हाफ वीक ओके सो you jump to endocrine okay you uh, study bnb you you see the videos you don't learn those videos okay you just see the videos you get an idea you jump to first aid you learn the theory you go to the you will you attempt the question your endocrine is done okay side by side you will be doing the general system okay you will ask me what what about the general i have heard more about sketchy micro do you recommend it yes i recommend it from my whole heart okay so you have to uh, side by side you have to start doing the microbes one microbe per day one microbe per day from sketchy micro itself and i have made that specific video regarding how to do the micro okay so so by this algorithm like bnb system uh, first aid you will and general stuff you will be you know completing your uh, step 1 syllabus and by the end of 6 months you will be taking the step 1 exam i am not going into deeper details because this video is 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 more of a timeline thing not uh, like i am telling you how to take the step 1 exam okay after your step 1 exam you have to you don't have to waste the time this is a mistake that i did so when i take took my step 1 exam i was an intern and after that i was like oh i got like i passed the step 1 exam now i have to enjoy not like that you don't have to you know like put your uh, feet off the throttle okay you have to do the full throttle because you are a, you are a graduate you have to wrap up this process as soon as possible okay so what you will do is like you will take 7 to 8 days off and you will buy the u world because for step 2 only one resource u world now what will you do is you will start attempting the u world uh, in a in a subject wise system manner i didn't know that neither there was someone who could tell me this clearly and even if they were telling me clearly i wasn't ready to believe them oh 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 how i'm going to shift from reading theory first and then going to the question to doing the questions now you will use your baseline knowledge from the step 1 and will apply in solving the u world whatever u world you can solve okay whatever you cannot solve take it as a you know knowledge gap and this is where the you know like step 2 comes into the picture obviously so so you take a good amount of time like 7 to 8 to 9 months and then you you know uh, go through the whole you world first time second time okay and then you take the step to exam now now after that you you are left with oet exam and oet is just a game of 10 days you know once you are t- have taken your step to exam you just go 10 days give your you yourself 10 days and you are you will be ready to take the oet exam so this is how you can you know just sum up the whole thing uh, of the usmle in like a, in a span of 12 to 13 months and this is this is what is recommended actually don't don't uh, take it make it long like 2 3 years not like that just 12 to 13 months of a solid hard work and you will be good to go so this was the whole idea regarding how the graduates should plan their usmle journey and in the next part of my video i'll be talking specifically about taking the usmle step 1 as a international medical graduate in this in which i will talk specifically uh from the point of uh from 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 those people's point of view who have graduated okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for supporting me and uh, if you like this video do subscribe to the youtube channel kindly share it among your friends thank you so much